Hey guys, we have another video today. We're gonna do a video. All right, so I'm kinda trying to put myself together for you guys. Just had shorts on all day, but then I decided I could throw a men's shirt and make it look a little bit sexy, funky, chic, however you wanna call this. But um, yeah, please like and subscribe to my video. If this is your first time, welcome, 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 welcome. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, subscribe. And um, for those of you who've been here, my fabulous people, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, today is a little summer Ross haul. The items I picked from Ross. So I just wanna share with you guys and Hopefully you like them as much as I do. You guys know. When I'm bored, I go shopping. It's like, if I stay at home, all I'm going to do is feed my face. And I don't want to do that. So I skip and run away. And I hit the stores. Because then I'm not going to the pantry looking for cookies, popcorn, <laughs> whatever, in the refrigerator, look for ice cream. Cause it's hot but so but when i go out there my hunger subsides so i don't feel hungry shopping fills me up isn't that stupid or crazy yeah my crazy life yeah i like shopping it is what i i mean i've been in retail all my life and that's you know what I, that's what makes me happy and that's why I keep trying to tell people you really cannot break the bank if you shop like me you know you just be happy every day because it's my happy place <laughs> shopping makes me happy and that's sad shopaholic yes I own it but anyway let's get this Ross got Ross bags Ross 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 there was two bags where's the other bag wait a minute now Okay, well, this came out. So let's start with the handbags. Yeah, there's another bag, guys. So let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What I do with the bag? I don't know. No, Gina. Where's the bag? Ish. Where's the bag? Where's the bag? So, probably. Oh, there it is. Hiding. Just hiding. Ross and a little bit of Didi's. Same company. For those of you who don't know, same company that owns Ross owns Didi's. It's like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. And Ross is Ross and Didi's. All right, so we are going to start with Ross. Pass the item. This beautiful. Can we guess who this is? Bokeh bag. I just love this color. Cognac. It has that kind of strap that says Bokeh over there. And it has the other strap. I think this is more of a, it's not a crossbody. It's more of a messenger. But most of the time, I don't think you even get to use it. So you just leave it hanging. You think I want to take out the plastic? Well, I'm not in my handbag room. So I brought this into my bedroom because I have a lot of space. Because I have some dresses here that I want to show you that came from Ross. Yeah, let's see the inside of this book here bag. Stop this hair. says book here all over the tissue paper and we have a beautiful book here does bad excuse my nails guys I still haven't done my nails they really need to breathe but I promise by Sunday I'll get it together so yeah we got this beautiful bag with a drawstring I love the adults bags 
I think their dust bags are even better than Chanel dust bags, if you ask me. My opinion, so don't come for me. Don't come telling me all kinds of stuff. Just me giving you my opinion. Yeah, this is what the back, the inside look like. Nice. Genuine leather. All Bokia bags are leather. So, you know, they don't do anything else but leather. And you got a book here right there. Very soft. And I know it's supposed to have a card. We need a card. Oh, here we go. Yes. We have the, the card. And here it tells you how all their bags are made with nothing but leather and you know special blah 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 literature if you want to learn about book here new york i suggest you grab one of your bags and get the little card inside and it's going to give you a little bit of history about these bags like i said the first time these bags first came out way back when i love these bags i mean i just love their leather it smells so good and what I noticed that the Bokia bags at Ross are a whole lot cheaper than the ones at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So yeah, look at this bag. Let me show you how I'm going to rock this baby. Just like this. Put some tissue in there so you can give it. It's a slouchy bag, guys. Slouchy. I love the color because it kind of... It will go with everything. It's more like a cornea color or some kind of brown. You know, it has that um, MS color that they make the, um, their Birkin bags. This is the kind of color that this, this book here is giving me. Natural cornea or tan. It depends on whatever you want to call it. So I love, this is my third book here bag, I think. Or is it the fourth? One of those. I'm still looking for a nice black one. When I went to Ross, there was a messenger black one. I was gonna get, I was so mad because at Ross, they make you go stand in line because these bags are locked up. Don't know why. Sure. And um, you gotta go to the register and tell them, oh, I wanna buy a bag, then they will come and unlock it. So, to my, um, what should I say? My disappointment, I was gonna get this and the little black crossbody one, but somebody beat me to it because she was ahead of me and they had to go unlock it and my heart kept saying, please don't get the black one. But then, lo and behold, that's what she got. I said, like, oh, damn, Gina. So I was stuck with this color. I really wanted the black because I wanted to be able to use it for church and you guys know i love these bags so yes enough of my rambling this beautiful bag was only 49 dollars genuine leather yeah the ones at ross are cheaper than the ones at marshall's if this was a tj maxx this would have been good old 89 or 79 dollars for their book here you guys remember the the yellow one i bought at um marshall's was 69 the small one and then the two-tone one I bought at TJ Maxx was 59, even though I saw another one for 79. But this is only $49. Genuine leather. And um, the black one that I was gonna get, the crossbody one, that was only 39. So I was trying to buy both of them. And somebody else said, you're the only one that loves this bag. So I'm gonna beat you to it. She did, she got it. I saw them unlock it. And I'm standing in line, and I say, whoa, damn, what a bummer. So now I got to go for a hunt for another book here. Beautiful bag. I love the, the, the handle. So it's more of a satchel. And then you can do a shoulder if you choose to. So just the retail price for this book here bag is $278. Yes, they gave us, you know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls take away their suggest every day price. Ross goes like, nah, we're going to show you. We don't give a, you know what. So, yeah, 279 for this bag. I don't know if you all can see it. Come on. There it is. 
I believe. I hope you all can see it. 278 and I paid fifty dollars. All right, goodbye. Yeah, Russ has the bags cheaper than TJ Maxx and Marshalls. But the only thing about Russ is you gotta be quick on your feet because those bags are locked and they got the Michael Kors and all the other stuff all locked up and the Bokia bags. I saw a little baby little Zach posing, cute little thing. But they wanted 119 for it, but my phone can't even fit in that little bag. But uh, it was so cute. I was going to get it, but I was like, what am I going to do with this little thing? It's just going to sit in my closet and like all my tiny little bags. All right. The next item from Ross, as you guys know, Bagley Mishka. Now they came up with a design that looks like a YSL. <laughs> I was like, Bagley, Bagley Mishka is trying to kick all these designers off their rack. It's like they're making bags that look like they're luxury bags. I was like, we don't care. You could come for us, but we're making this affordable and they are beautiful and I'm all here for it. Look at this. If you guys know your YSL, you know this bag look like a YSL bag. This bag, the Mishka bag. Look at that. Got a little tassel thingy. And it has your little BM, your B, yeah, Bagley Mishka symbol right there on that little lock. Nice. It's a little stuffed. And look at the chain. Beautiful chain. Little heavy. Not too heavy, but heavy enough to know it's a good quality. And when we open this Bagley bag, it's lined with fabric and it has the two snaps that you close oh my nails are so awful let's take out the tissue and see how this bagley mishka bag i was like bagley mishka what are you gonna make and next time they're probably gonna make a bag that look like the ms bag i bet you i'm gonna find one of those every time i go to one of these stores i see a different style of a bagley mishka bag you got the zipper on the side just like the ysl but then in there it says Bagley Mishka right there. You guys know the YSL that has the little tassel hanging low? Yeah, that's what Bagley Mishka was coming for. It was like YSL, hold on to your seatbelts. We're coming for you. Beautiful. I mean, I know this is not genuine leather. This is full leather, which is fine, but like I said, you go to Office, Saks Avenue, you find these bags. They run for like $69 on sale. And um, suggested so retail price for this bag is $129. That's what Bagley Mishka tells you you should pay. But when it was bought by all these discount stores, they were all discounted. And at Ross, I'm trying to tell you, these bags are going up. When Bagley Mishka bag first came up, we were paying, what, $19? They're creeping up little by little. This one was $21.99. I don't know why this was $29. Because the other bag, I mean 21 the other bag, the Mishka bags that we have that has the quilting and the studs that look like the Chanel bags. Those were selling for only $19. And if you had gotten them from Marshalls, there's some, most of them were on sale because people didn't know what they were. So the Marshalls had marked a lot of them down. But now that everybody knows what Bagley Mishka is all about, you can barely find any. I mean, I saw this at Ross in the black, and I saw a red one. But same silly me, I'm standing there examining the bag, looking at it, and a lady reached over me and picked the red one. I'm like, oh. so I went round and round the handbag section, see if there was another red one hanging around. Lo and behold, no. This was the only black, and that was the only red. I'm sure she wanted my black, and I wanted her red, but I wasn't going to give her my black. I just wanted both. Selfish girl. But anyway, so, yeah. Cute, huh? Let's see how this goes as a crossbody. 
yes crossbody you guys this shirt that i'm wearing is like a triple x in men's it's so big but to me it's a dress and, and then i kind of did like a puffy sleeve look at me yeah look at this bag yeah, almost look like the YSL. I remember the YSL with the tassel. I do. And here comes back Lemishka. I wish this was gold though, because I'm not a silver girl. But I didn't see a gold. Even the red one was a silver hardware. Maybe if I go to Marshalls. I haven't been to Marshalls for a minute. Maybe I'll find this in gold. I mean, these days you see different kind of bags in different stores you go to burlington they have a different bag Lemishka. you go to marshall's they have a different kind tj maxx and um the ones that i see at tj maxx are the same one i see at all faith and nostrums rag those are the ones i see but <clears throat> all these other ones that almost look like the ysl the lady dior i see those mostly like at uh, marshall's and ross I mean, Ross never used to carry Bagley Mishka. When Bagley Mishka first came out, it was only TJ Maxx and Burlington and Marshalls. You could never find this at Ross. I don't know why. Then this season, all of a sudden, whoop, Ross is carrying Bagley Mishka. I'm like, oh my God. They didn't have it before. I guess I thought maybe Bagley Mishka did not want to sell to them. But they finally did. Anywho, we're still doing Ross. As to this beautiful Michael Kors belt. I don't know why she didn't even take this part off. I mean, she let me bring all that. It's more of a wristlet and a belt. If you don't want to use it as a belt, you can use it as a wristlet, which is probably how I'm going to use it. I will take the belt away if I'm running to Starbucks or something. I'm just gonna carry this little thing just like that. And it opens like this. Cause it's a small and it was a little tight. It was the last one, they didn't have another size. And I think Burlington has this if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to double check. And I think it was cheaper at Burlington, Burlington because at Ross, this, was $24.99. But I thought I had seen the same thing at Burlington. Original price is $56. I think I saw the Burlington for like $19. I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, I love the color. I love the, the fact that it's not just black or white. This one has like some kind of um, rose color rose color and it has mk mk all over it i'm trying to take the little studs so then we can try it i know i tried it in the store and it was a little a little small and i'm like damn gina but yeah look at that so let me see some you guys know so i might hold on to it and you and take 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 away the belt and just use it as a clutch. I'm trying to see if this can work. But now you know I have this shirt. Yeah, I have to like hold my tummy in to make it work. And size small. I really needed a medium. I mean I can literally make it work, but there there we go. Cute, huh? Way with my shirts and my shorts. Cute. Uh oh. Okay. My little thing fell off my watch. And I can just go in. It's a little tight, girl. It's a little tight. So, but I might not use it as a belt. I might just carry it as a little wristlet. Maybe if I, a couple of swimming. This summertime is going to make me trim a little bit. And if I trim down after swimming for a minute, 
then maybe this can fit me because you guys know swimming is a good form of exercise like it just trims your body so yeah that's what i hope but if not if i go to burlington and i find this is in a medium this small one is gonna go back to good old rossi rossi all right next one from ross we're doing all the accessories before we do the clothing is the mic of course the mk belt in the white god i hate the fact that how much did I say? Yeah, 24 for that one. The MK. The reason I like this is because it's gold and silver. And I have this in brown. Oh, I think in black. But I don't own a white MK belt. I have all these belts and I don't have this color. And this one was... Um, so another thing that's was $19.99 at Ross. So just the retail price was $48. You know, I don't is this reversible? I know that no, nah, this one is not reversible because I thought maybe I can wear it this way. There's one that I think my other one you can twist the lock and it's reversible. But this one don't seem like it is. I don't want to force it and then turn around and break it. Because that was the only one they had. And I think this one fits me properly. It's C. Put it over the shirt. Oh yeah, this is definitely my size. I don't have to struggle. Cute, huh? I can carry my Michael Kors bag. And I have those Michael Kors um, pants that I bought from goodwill the brand new one so yeah it has belt loops so i can definitely wear that with that yeah and this was only 19.99 i don't know why ross doesn't take out this little micro course things it's like i guess they want you to you know you're buying a micro course you know so that was that so still the fact that when the micro course situation, I found this, I went to the men's department and I found a micro course shirt. I have so many men's shirt. I was gonna give this to my son. It says it's a large, but he told me it was too small for his shoulders. Yeah, it kind of looks small. I don't know why this is so small it says slim fit okay so i'm going to rock this i'm going to dress this up with my mark of course belts carry my mark of course bag probably wear it with those pants those mark of course pants that i have is blue and white so all this is all gonna go together i will be having a mark of course day and this one was $14.99. Suggest so a retail price for the Michael Kors shirt at Ross. Uh, the Michael Kors line was $59. $59.50. And this is a 16 34 35 which I don't understand because that's what my son wears, but it's so teeny tiny. I think that's why I ended up at Ross, even though it says a slim fit. What man is this little? Psh even for me i think this is still a little i'm gonna try this one because it's looking mighty slim maybe i know they had an extra large so maybe i'll go exchange this and get the extra large because this looks like after one wash it's going to shrink and then it's going to become my house shirt which most of my main shirts are my house shirts but anyway yeah this is questionable i need a bigger size so all right next i think i don't know if i want to try this on but is this beautiful calvin klein jumper look at that drawstring and then it says calvin klein look i got stuff everywhere guys 
it says curl and pile on this leg right here. I just love the fact that it's a, you know, jumpsuit and the bottom is tapered. So I can just run out of the house easily. It looks comfortable. And I was like, yes. Then we got the pockets on the side. You got your Calvin Klein right there. There's none on the side. So cute, huh? Not trying it on. I'm not doing it. Tired. So yeah, this one was on sale for $16.99. Size medium. When I style this, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take a nice picture and I'm going to post it. And you guys are going to see how beautiful this jumpsuit is. It says Calvin Klein on the leg. Yeah. For $16, sure. Why not? Who is to say? All right. Before I do the Ross, well, let me do the Ross dresses. Then I go to do this. I have my, you know, in the summertime, this is how your girl likes to dress. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my Sunday's best. Ouch. I have this long, long flowy dresses. Look at that. This is the red version. Another one I'm gonna wear to church probably. Carry this with my Chanel, red Chanel boy bag that I just got. Yeah. How cute is this? Nice. Flowy. And this one too was $19, $19 at Ross. So cute. So we have a V-neck right here, which I hope is going to be forgiving because, you know, I don't want to wear this to church. I don't want to be holding my chest all the time. And then we have the belt, seamed it a little bit. The only problem I have with this dress is it's a long sleeve, but I could always pull up the sleeves because, you know, it's hot right now, like hot, hot, hot. But this dress is so light and flowy, so why not, huh? I just hope I don't have to play with this because I'm so busty. I think it will work. Yeah, I haven't tried it on. Just brought it home and just kind of kept it over there. I was like, ah. And then there's a sister version to it. More like a, this has like a little rainbow vibe going on. Look at that. I think this one might be a little big. I'm not, I don't know why this doesn't have a belt. Or does it? Oh, it does. Oh. I was like, why is it so big? It's a medium. But we have the belt. To tie another long sleeve beautiful nice so it's pride day I could I mean I don't know anybody well no I have some friends that I could have if they would have invited me for some pride festival and function I would have worn this dress yeah and support here we go I just look more like a peacock kind of feather thing going on. I love this. This too was $19.99. And the back is this way. So yeah, you guys are going to see me wear this to church. Because this is usually my church. In the summertime, I come up, I just come through with the long dresses. There's everything else. Maybe a little short dress here and there. But mostly, I gravitate towards long dresses because it's easy to just put on and keep it moving. And then there's this little paisley looking one. It's kind of just loose, little frill on the bottom. More like a two-tier, the frill. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. I thought it was torn, but no, it's the design. I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, beautiful, nice. And this one was 
cheaper was $16.99. Little three quarter sleeves, not long sleeve and it's very loose and flowy. This will look good with, you know, my all my little summer sandals that I showed you guys. Cute, huh? Look at this dress. I wish I could try them on. But guys, let me tell you. After running around, went to the post office again to do some Poshmark. I live at the post office, I think. And some Macari stuff. Um, I stopped at Ross to see what else can I find to add to this haul. Got home, ate. I ain't got time to be trying on nothing. But I know I have to show you guys this beautiful, beautiful find. So if you have a Ross close to you, just go over there. This is where most of your summer clothes should come from. There is no reason to go pay a whole lot of money for a summer outfit because summer is such a short season, you know? Even though in California it's summer all year round, but we still pretend like there's winter here and we dress like there's winter. Okay, the next one from Ross is this beautiful denim dress and a little frill on the bottom. Off the shoulder because that's how I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna do a belt over it because as you see it's a little big over here so I'm going to cinch that and off the shoulder nice soft denim it's more like cotton but looks like denim fabric and this one too was um, nine dollars and ninety nine cents so ten dollars as big as this dress looks, it's really actually a small. So I don't know what a medium would have looked like. I'm like, why is this a small? But I, I don't know. After I try it on, I'm just going to put a belt and then to the off the shoulder. Be a sexy little number. Yeah, carry the Bagley Mishka bag, crossbody. This will look good, huh? And this was by Lapis. I didn't even tell you the name of the other dresses. Yeah, this is Lapis, and that was Calvin Klein. And this one is Kate, Kate and Lily. Yeah, something you can only find at TJ Maxx and Ross. I don't think, maybe Nostrum's Rack. They have those kind of brands, because those are like mostly LA Showroom, California Mag. And this is Indigo Rose. These are not high-end, high-end. These are beautiful, affordable dresses. Indigo rose for $20. But if it was to make itself at a department store, you see it hanging maybe at Macy's, you know, in their contemporary department, you would probably pay $69 for that. Yeah, so that one was Indigo rose. And this one is... um spy zone exchange spy zone exchange i think all this you can get downtown in california at the la showroom if you live in cali you know you can go to la showroom but you gotta have a seller's permit to buy from la showroom but you can go to santi alley and buy singles where you pay a little bit more than you would if you buy wholesale so yeah but all this, you can still get at Ross. You don't got to go through all that. Ross dress for less. That's what they used to call it. Oh, that's what they still call it. I don't know. All right. I think that's it for Ross. The next one. Didi's. Same company, guys. Didi's and Ross. Uh, they're like sister and brother. Just like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Oh. I found a nice little shirt for my son. It sells. It's a self-made. I don't know. I didn't plan on showing this here, but oh well. Look at that dollar sign. Self-made for <laughs> six dollars. Nice little shirt. He's gonna like it. He can. It's hot. He can just wear it to when we go out to eat. Okay. The next one thing I found about at um Didi's. It's another Bagley Mishka. This is a different style. Don't know what style this one. Who I think they're trying to still mimic Bottega. So, 
Here we go. Nice, soft, hobo or shoulder bag. And with this one, I was a little intrigued because Baglemishka tags are usually green. But I mean black. This one was red, which I'm like, okay, why is this? Let me show you the other Baglemishka that I'm talking about. I'm like, why is this tag red? So I'm going to Google it and find out why this is red. Probably the cheaper line. See? They bought Baglemishka. Look at that. Baglemishka. Baglemishka. I don't know. This one has a black normal label and this one has the red label. Never seen that before. Maybe because this is a cheaper line. Because, you know, when it comes to DDs, you get stuff for cheap. But I love the style. It has the silver Bagley Mishka um, logo. Your, your BM. Oh, take off that little plastic. Huh? Took the plastic right there. Silver. And then it's stuffed on the inside with this trash. And we have your little um, freshness in there. So, yeah. The inside. It's like this. Oh my goodness, this big old DD tag is getting under my skin. It's like right in my face. Yeah, we got the inside of this bag, Lemishka. It has the zipper on the side. Is that what I see? Yeah, right here. Not that, that's a top zipper. The zipper on the side and on the inside. When I saw the red label, I thought it was the studio. Bagley Mishka, but no, it just says Bagley Mishka on there because if it has a circle around it, it means it's a studio Bagley Mishka, which means it's a little bit cheaper. Now, I don't know what the red one stands for, or maybe it's just their new tag that they came out with. I don't know. So, just the retail price for this nice little soft pleated, or uh, how did how did they describe this bag? Pleats shoulder bag. You know, Bagley Mishka is weird with your description. Pleats, shoulder bag is what they call this. So you got the little pleats gathered all around. I think these are the pleats. That's what they mean. And um, yeah, so just the retail price is $129 as usual. Most Bagley Mishka bags have that standard suggested retail price. A few of them says, when they first came out, it was $199. And then I found one that was two fifty nine, so just a retail price. But majority of the time it's one twenty nine, and then there's some for ninety nine. And I got this Adidas for nineteen dollars. Still, this is Adidas. Adidas is supposed to be cheaper. So in other, I can see why Bagley Mishka put this Adidas for nineteen dollars. I don't, I don't know why. Which, which means if he went to like maybe T, TJ Maxx, excuse me guys, or Marshalls, this bag will probably be like 25. The being that I went to Diddy's, still we still got the zipper pull with the BM right there. $19, I like it. I know it's not leather, you know, I, we, both me and you know. This is vegan leather, it says right there, vegan leather, so. If they converted these bags, which I'm sure in the near future, when they start capitalizing on the luxury brand, all their handbags are going to be leather. And then you guys are going to, we're going to start paying pretty penny for these bags. And then, you know, right now they're giving us a tease of what's to come. And, you know, things are hard. So Bagley Mishka says, I'm going to make it affordable for you guys. You don't have to break the bag. You can just wear my bags and still be chic. Look at this. Nice, huh? Nice shoulder bag. I love this bag. I don't even feel like I'm carrying it with anything. It's like, what can I put in here? Let me see. I'm carrying my Gucci today full of stuff look at that i got so much crap yeah let me see how many wallets will fit in this bag and let's see how it's gonna take shape because i put my 
my Gucci wallets. Check out that plastic thingy out of there. And I put, I'm carrying my little mini Louis. These are the, this is what I carry all the time. So I have my little change purse. Don't know why I carry change, but I do. My sanitizer. Ooh, we putting a lot of stuff in this joint, aren't we? Oh, my cosmetic case. Cosmetic case, let's see if that will fit. But the sanitizer usually, I usually put it in this case because that case can take a whole lot of stuff. Because it's more like a wash. My sanitizer is more of a wash, it's not a lotion. Because the lotion ones I think are like sticky, sticky. I just, and the spray is a wash, and I got that from CVS Pharmacy. So, okay. I have everything I carry that I know I will not be forgetting stuff. So, this is what is inside this bag. I, sh I should do what's in my bag one day. But look at that. My keys. Oh, my keys are downstairs, but let me put my son's keys in here. But mine has a lot of stuff. Oh, my husband's wallet. Like I said, guys, I carry his wallet. So his little Louis Vuitton all beat up. He needs a new one. But yeah, I carry his wallet because he's always saying, you. Yeah. I'm like, what's wrong with your pockets? Put it in your pocket. Stop making me carry stuff. All right, so I have all the stuff in here, and I'm having a hard time to zipping it up. So, I some, I some things might have to go, but if I carry it on my shoulder, I really don't need to zip it up because nobody's gonna reach. It's so close to my shoulder, so I mean under my arm, that nobody's gonna reach in there and take anything. You're gonna have to fight me first. Ouch! I am so clumsy. I just step on my Gucci bag. Probably break the damn thing. Did I break it? It was just down there and I stepped on it like it was nothing. Nope. Still intact. You guys remember this bag? Still intact. Nothing fell off. Yeah, so I cannot let's go back to our bag Lemishka. Forget Gucci. Okay. We're gonna see if this bag they can do some miracles. If I can Cause sometimes your girl carry two i carry two bags i leave my big bag in the car if i don't feel like taking it to the store and then i have my smaller bag so i just take my wallet and put in my smaller bag and leave the big bag in my trunk so now because i have all this in here i couldn't zip it so if i was to do a process of elimination i would take out my cosmetic case and just take this out and then take my lipstick. It's the only thing I need. It's the only thing I usually do when I eat. I just change my lipstick. Something else is making this a little bit, probably my husband's wallet. I don't need his wallet in my bag, but yeah. Or either that the Gucci wallet is still too big. Might take away the Gucci wallet too big, so I'll have to Eliminate that. I just have his, my Louis, and then I will take, like you guys, I carry so much stuff. My little Chanel. Yeah, I think now we're good to go. Now I can zip this bag. I'm just trying to figure out why can't I zip the bag? And what's the point if I cannot zip it? Do I? Okay. Oh, hallelujah. See? That Gucci wallet well, had to go. It was just way too big. So we can do, we can carry like this, which I think is really, really cute. Oh my God, I love this bag. I wish they had it in a different color, not just black. It was like black everything. If this bag was in red with a gold BM, it would be everything. Can you imagine just wearing all black? And then if this bag was red and gold and this would be a purple color, or you can just put it on your shoulder. 
but I like it. I like it this way to carry it on my arm. Look at this. It gives you enough comfortable um thingy. Yeah, one twenty nine. So just a retail for Bagley Mishka. Go to Ross. I mean Didi's nineteen dollars. So just the retail price for this other bag of Mishka <clears throat> from Ross. This one was same thing, one twenty nine. But then at Ross, it was twenty two dollars. So just the retail price, DDs, but cheaper, nineteen dollars. You know, DD, DDs is the cheaper version of Ross. So their price can never be the same because then it will be an oxymoron. It was like, why am I gonna? You know pay the same amount because Ross is supposed to be the bigger brother of of Didi's. Didi's is the little one. Ross is the big one. So anywho yeah that was that. I love it love it love it. I hope I find it in different colors. You know me I'm gonna go back and start looking like a mad woman. The next thing I found was this wild diva shoes slippers. From Didi's. Sexy, huh? I love this color. And this one was $13.99. You guys remember we have bought this. This one is a braided, but the one I'm wearing, my God, I left, I was walking around with a tag on my shoes. Jeez. So while Diva just came out of Burlington, but we paid $17.99. Uh, I'm like, why is there a tag on this shoe? It's like, seriously anywho took it off yeah this one was 17 and then when you go to Didi, same brand wild diva 13.99 and i just love the braided part all this look like bottegas want to be you know and um why i took a seven and a half because i couldn't find an eight but it still fits me it fits because i tried it on I'm like, okay, it fades even though it's a seven and a half. I don't know if y'all can see that. Messed up. I don't have my scissors. I'm gonna literally sew my own self because I always got stuff everywhere. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yes, yes. You might have to come up a little bit. Anywho, yes, $14, guys, for $13.99, Didi's, cheaper Didi's than it is at Burlington. Burlington is $17, Didi's is $14, but, you know, we go to Didi's for the deals. You might, people might hang their nose down on Didi's. Man, don't play. They can come through with some good stuff. I remember the my uh, backpack, um, the Michael Kors backpack, which I haven't even worn. I got there for one nineteen. I walked there today thinking they had another designer Michael Kors. I looked at the register. No, there's nothing. But this was what I picked up. Nice, nice, nice. All right, guys. I think this is it for the haul, my Ross haul. Didn't try on anything, only because I'm tired. And only because I gotta go help my husband put some stuff on the grill so we can eat. Because uh, when he's out there grilling and I'm here doing this, he was like, why do you leave me here all by myself? He needs my company while he's grilling. So I gotta go. Go hang out with the hubby so he don't guilt trip me. Anywho, I have a lot of mess. This is Friday. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. It's hot over here. And, you know, we just trying to stay cool. Just trying to stay cool. It's like when I'm driving, I don't want to get out of my car. When I get to my destination, I have to sit in the car for a minute. I'm like, oh, Jesus, let me go face the heat. 
Isn't that a shame? It's so hard that you have to think twice before you get out of the car because the car be feeling so good. And then by the time you get out of the car to where you're going, you're already sweating. I'm like, so yeah, and this is what I'm carrying today. Well, actually, <laughs> you guys want to hear some stupid, see some stupid? This is what I carried for the whole week. But I have in the back of my car when I decided to go to the post office, I don't want to be carrying all this. So I pick up the baby one and I do the crossbody because I had packages in my hand, you know, to, you know, to mail out for Porsche, Mark. I could not be carrying this big old thing in there. Then I have to sit it down to fill out, you know, to um, seal the box and everything because I don't buy boxes. I just buy my box when I get straight to the post office. So this was right there, hands free. But the other big, the big sister was in the car. All I had to do, I'm coming a bad lady for no reason, was get this wallet. Bad lady is what my husband calls me. He said, what's all this bad you have in the car? I'm like, because I need everything. So yeah, that fits in there, my wall, my two wallets. And um, I think I had my change purse because, you know, sometimes I've seen some homeless people. I need to, I have a lot, a lot of quarters. And then my sanitizer. This is how I went to the post office carry this and while this sits in the back of the car because I've been carrying this all <coughs> all week doing other things but then when I realized I had to go to the post office I'm like ah I have to change bags I don't feel like schlepping this at the post office because I need my hands to be free so I got I pulled out the baby and decided to do a crossbody so yeah then my my shirt They not have the Chanel belt on. So you guys know I didn't go to the post office looking all fly. Like somebody said something to me the last time. Like, you got a post office looking like that? Listen, girl, we have one life to live. We better live it. I like to look good. I don't know. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You want to look your best. So that if anything, people want to see you looking your best. You don't want to see them like, damn, what happened to her? So, yeah, this is, this is how... I was running the streets. My big shirt, my H&M shorts, and my little, this little nice top I got from Hope of the Valley. They had, they were all brand new. It's like they only had small, so I wish they had a medium. I just love the painting. And I was like, oh, and that was that. I love this H&M shorts. They just hug your feet. And, that's how I ran around town. I just came home to, before I did a haul, I'm like, ah, oh, let me spruce it up for you guys and put a little bit of Chanel belt so I can look like I know what the hell I'm talking about, you know? So yeah, that's, that's how. If it wasn't so hot, that's what I would have done. But when it's hot, why you want to be all belt and all that stuff? Everybody got time for that. So this is it. And if I feel like I'm looking crazy, I just cover my shirt. And people think I'm walking around with a shirt. What they don't know is I got shorts underneath. But anywho, end of my haul, guys. Oh, my stomach. End of my haul. Hope you guys come back and see me. I love, love, love my book here bag. I'm on the hunt for a beautiful black one, hopefully. $49. Hopefully I can find one. I hope the lady goes goes home and change her mind and bring it back. $279 and I pay $50. I will be ecstatic. She went, she was ahead of me in the line and she was like, I need a bag. And she went straight for the black one. I'm like, go figure. I mean, God damn. For all every all the bags that were locked up, why it had to be that bag? Because we all have the same taste, I guess. Anywho, and I love these are my two bags. Dee Dee's Ross. 
those are my best finds i think i mean don't get me wrong i love this one but being that i have so many wire sales this is just like eh. maybe i'll wait when i'm running to wherever walmart wherever and then this i have to find my right size if not i'm just gonna take this belt away and just carry like a little mini purse if i'm going to starbucks or cbs pharmacy i'll just throw my cards in there i think my hope my phone can fit in can my phone fit in this thing you know that's one thing i never even tried to see if my phone where is my phone? Okay. Let's see if my phone. You think I want to change my phone cover? I've had this Dior cover since my son's birthday. Because I wore Dior when we went out to eat and I never changed it. I have so many phone covers. It's sickening. But yeah, it fits. Yay. So yeah, I could just throw my phone in here. Maybe a little card holder. Where's that? Maybe a little card holder. I need to end this haul because I'm talking too much. Let's see if this if this doesn't fit, then we'll do a um card holder that's flatter. I have a flat in a card holder. Oh, I can find it. My post card holder. Oh yeah, it fits. Yeah. Cute, huh? Oh, excuse me. Cute, 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 cute. I need a bigger size. So yeah, just cut hold on the phone. All the girl needs, and that's about it. I think that was that. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when your girl uploads. Please comment, share, share this video. I mean, just go to Ross and spend a little bit of time you'll find some things in there but you know sometimes when you go to these places you think oh because it's so crowded you're not gonna find stuff you know everybody's taste is different i go in with a laser you know i know what i'm looking for i'm not just like looking randomly i go straight to the handbags i know the bags i have on mine i see everything i see my the other big micro course bags they have there the DK, DK and Y, the Calvin clients, I'm not interested in those. But I'm interested in my bag, Lemishka. So I go to the regular handbag section where it's not locked up and I find me some bag, Lemishka. But then I go back to the locked up one because I want a book here. So, and this one was in the belt section, just sitting there. But it's lonesome. I love the color. Because I've seen the, the white. And the black ones at uh, Burlington, Burlington, and I was never interested, but when I saw this color, I was like, oh, wait a minute now. That's some kind of beautiful. So, yes. So subscribe, guys. I hope you like this haul. Come back and see me. Sunday's another day. Sunday, I hope you love my men's shirt. I made it a puffy sleeve. Look at that, puffy sleeve. I'm like, I'm a crazy woman, but you know love it love it love it i'm free comfortable so i hope you like my braids we're still rocking these braids at some point we're gonna take them off we're gonna wear something else but anyway i see you guys peace love happiness guys enjoy your weekend and have a blessed day okay mm, bye bye guys thank you for all the love thank you